when your content is on par with The Fitness Addict, it's time we have a chat. Brad news. Always start a video with a pun. Sadly, I have to report that the Instavirus has infiltrated watermelons and is clearly contagious to the touch. The Instavirus has claimed Mr. Bradley Martin. Bradley Martin, fitness celebrity with over 3 million followers on the Instagram and over 2 million on YouTube, makes videos like this. Which in themselves are very decent. The only problem is he then puts out content like this. Again, that weird word irony seems to be at the forefront of fitness tomfoolery, which also applied to my friend with his six pack gel. Apparently, there's no such thing as Brad publicity, but there may well be a sequel to Breaking Brad. This is called the Instavirus Push Press. Stop this insanity, please. And so Bradley has a mixture of content on his channel and he has much knowledgeable content. The guy can lift. He is a legit lifter on the bar. However, some videos are cringier than my dad jokes, which takes a lot of doing. And he does have another channel with Don Mazzetti from Bro Science Life, powerful Don Mazzetti. However, I kind of think of that partnership like the horse leading the cart. One of them is absolutely hilarious. One of them is about as funny as Kenny K.O. Guess which is which? <laughs> forever and ever. Oh, friend! Ladies and gentlemen, we face a new threat in the fitness industry. People doing dangerous and silly stuff for IG Love Hearts. <laughs> Collabing with Dom to then collab with Kenny KO is kind of like going from this Batman to this Batman. And so he has a lot of straight lifting information and the dude can legit lift. But... And there are loads of those on his Instagram page. He has an insane amount of content like this. Name this exercise. Oh, I know that one. It's called get the f out of my gym press incline version. And so this video is not a Brad hominem attack by me. He does dangerous stuff on camera and ultimately he can injure himself. He does, however, give disclaimers to his audience to not try this at home. And there is less of this type of stuff on his YouTube page, more on his Instagram. A ridiculous amount of this stuff on his Instagram, a disproportionate amount of stuff like this on his Instagram, almost an unhealthy obsession with this on his Instagram. And in this video, picking up foreign women in the gym, this lady pretty much sums up my feelings. And so this clip's kind of like reverse psychology or a double negative. Make a skit making fun of these Instagram models showing off their backsides whilst actually knowing that this video where they are showing off their backsides for absolutely no practical reason will boost your page. The Instavirus is becoming smarter, smarty pants. One symptom of the Instagram virus is that the people involved have absolutely no choice but to show off their derriere in pretty much every picture. Literally nothing they can do about it. The pixelated square earned overtime pay in that clip. And then we come to the unbalanced bar stuff. So I'm about to fly to the UK. I guess they add up weights differently there. Am I doing this right? No, we can see a dead weight when it's right in front of us. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> no words needed for this one, just the appropriately added music and your comments below, please. And so what's absolutely fascinating and scary about this clip is his drop sets are actually safer than Chris Herrier's. They are still fuming at me. I'm not the one that was stripping the plates off the bar. And so this is Ashley and I have a video specifically about her and she's undeniably a great athlete, but also does a lot of these circus tricks on camera. And so it's not really a surprise that she collaborates with Bradley Martin in many videos. However, at some point, these people are going to collaborate with a medical facility and no one wants to see that. And people can clearly cannot get enough of this stuff. These videos garner huge views and the fitness people involved are continually upping the ante to make things more visually attractive and more risque on camera. Where will it end? Where will this absolute nonsense end? All I want for Christmas is apparently a hernia. Ho, 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 ho. 
Merry Hernia. And so this video is a very clear demonstration of the injury risk involved, where he has this lady on his back and he's deadlifting and having that unstable weight on his neck is forming him to do the old scared cat deadlift, which of course may potentially lead to injury. Yup, we are trying this. If that clip left a bad taste in your mouth and you are despairing, not at my pun, but at his deadlift. Do not worry, Myo Design has you covered. Good for you. You found two girls to risk their own necks. While you risk yours, misery loves company, I suppose. And so does your chiropractor. <laughs> Squatting human people while he is on a hoverboard. At this point, he's really in my Brad books. Okay, that's enough puns. Even I feel dirty. Oh, and I love this. The why I am quitting YouTube clickbait, which so many of these YouTube people do. Essentially, it goes like this. You make a video titled, I'm quitting YouTube, for example. Example, and then in the video, you give a little caveat such as for the weekend. Absolutely brilliant. And like Bradley Martin, let's continue as he continues to make tons and tons and tons of content since he posted that video. However, in this case, Bradley's comment section became legendary, where Dean, you deserve a medal, my friend, said this. Followed by YouTube subconsciously but comedically placing Bradley's comment after Dean's comment, which made it even more fantastic. If only Bradley Martin then released a follow-up video to said clickbait video a few months later. And for those people who throw clickbait at anyone who makes videos talking about other people, such as in this video, people may say you're clickbaiting Bradley Martin. That's not what clickbait is. Clickbait is when your thumbnail and your title is misleading and your, the actual content of your video doesn't really directly relate to what people think they're clicking on. That's clickbait. <laughs> I asked Arnold if every day was arm day. He said yes, legend confirmed. I asked Arnold if the Terminator still eradicates threats to humanity. He said yes, legend confirmed. Oh, the Halloween clip, 3,365,409 boys going through puberty lost their minds when they saw this video. Great job Zoolander. And similar to Devon and Devon, stay classy Bradley. This displeases me greatly, Joe, you may need young Jamie to do a bit more research on this guy before any future collaborations. Denied. And so as you may have gathered by now, Bradley Martin has a slight fetish with replacing weight plates with actual human women. They appear to be good girls gone Brad. He makes so many videos of him picking up women. <laughs> it would be pushing it to consider this dipshit as anything other than performing circus tricks for love hearts. He has extended himself to performing these tricks, which sadly have a chain reaction throughout the simulation industry. But don't worry, Santa Claus is coming to town on his sled and he's gonna jump on your car for giggles. I mean, this bench press clip is just an absolute joke. Honestly, feet up in the air. And predictably at this point, he's gone full Devon physique. Bradley Martin, I knight you. Sir Devon Martin of the Instagram. The Devons would be proud of you. If the Vinces are the scourge of YouTube fitness, then the Devons have taken over Instagram. From this Devon to this Devon. <coughs> this is not what Athlean X meant by face pulls. For your viewing pleasure, I'm going to introduce the pixelated square. I'm Thermogenic James and I ooze heat, which like the fat loss supplements that Devon sells cannot hack your fat loss. This is, I will try to sell you everything sports science from an Instagram Devon. He makes directly causal claims. He says that they do this in a causal manner. This is completely incorrect. This is not evidence-based. And Devon uses it on his arms, his abs, and yes, you guessed it, on his cheeks. Half a million people watched a video of Devin electrically stimulating his cheeks. If there is proof that humanity, which I can't spell, is doomed, there it is. How many times did you try and sell Kevin Hart your muscle stimulating machines? And so to the cliffhanger ending of this video, Bradley Martin's bottle cap challenge. You call that a bottle cap challenge. This is how you do it, sunshine.
So casein protein is a slow digesting protein source. And so the theory would suggest that taking it before sleep can help you to preserve and therefore build future muscle mass. The only caveat being you have to wear anabolic pajamas.